Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're gonna to do some machining and welding. I got a client who wanted some custom brackets made, and this is to hold a pancake compressor in his garage. We're gonna make two of these brackets, and I made one as a prototype to make sure all my sizes worked out. I bought my stock at Speed of Metal, speedofmetal.com, and they will ship just about anywhere. Great prices. So for the cross brace, I got hot rolled steel. It's a quarter by one by 18 long. And it's gonna be a little bit too long, but I'm gonna cut the end off after I weld it. The bracket itself is quarter by one and a half by 24. At the bridge part, I drilled the mounting holes and slots for the cross brace. Then I welded them and cut off the excess and ground it flat. So our first stop is gonna be at the Bridgeport Mill and we're gonna do a little machining. So we're at the Bridgeport Mill and I gotta drill the holes for the bolts and I gotta drill and mill out the slot for the cross brace. So I wrote a little program. First thing we're gonna do is drill all the holes with a number four center drill. Then we're gonna come back with a quarter inch drill and drill them all. Then we're gonna take an end mill here and just nib away at this slot. Last step is we're gonna chamfer all the holes so we can use a deck screw and that will be nice and flush. First thing, number four center drill. Now, a quarter inch drill. Now I'm using a quarter inch high speed steel four flute end mill. When I come down here to make the slot, is just move over like 50 thousandths, plunge all the way down, move over 50 thousandths, plunge all the way down. Time consuming, but best way to do a slot. I nibbed away at the slot, but now I got the end mill all the way down, and I'm gonna do one pass, and then I'll check for fitment. Before you take it out of ice, I just wanna to check to see and I'm good. Now all I gotta do, flip this bar around and do the same process on the other end. That'll do off camera. The last operation in the mill was chamfering. Now these heads have an 82 degree angle, so I chamfered all the holes for mounting 82 degrees. 
and I got that nice and flush for my deck screw. Now we take this straight bar and then put it into my compact bender and I want to bend it at a 90 degree. So I use my combination square. This is an 18 inch combination square. So I put a little tension on the bender and with my combination square, I measure both sides equally. So now I'm just gonna pull this around and make a 90 degree bend. There we go. That matches up pretty good. You always gotta work on that spring back. So with the holes drilled, the slots in there, everything's deburred, got a nice 90 degree bend, off to the welding table. So we're at the welding table here, I got these squares from Fireball Tools I bought a couple years ago and I really like using them. Clamped down to my welding table. I measured before I put the bracket in here. I got a 90 degree angle. Everything is clamped down. Now this is gonna be cut off when I'm done welding. So I just got a pro out here. I just wanna get some weld on the inside of each of them. I'll cut it off with an angle grinder. I'll do a little pocket weld in here, flip it over, weld the other side. So right now I'm just gonna show you welding it up a little bit. Well, back at the table. Two brackets, finished welding. The whole key to this project is whenever you weld something, it always wants to move on you. It always bends towards the heat. So I use these fireball squares that I talked about earlier. And uh, these are really nice. These are cast iron models. So if you ever get a chance, check out Fireball's website. So the brackets are done. Next I gotta do is give it to my client and he's gonna mount them in his garage with a piece of plywood for his little pancake compressor. So this is MKE Gadgets. Hope you enjoyed this little video on welding some brackets out of some steel. As always, please tell your friends, please subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.